with another Cooking Creations. This is Chef Brent, Executive Chef for with the CM South Bend. We have a special guest today, Chef Thomas Hollowell, the restaurant chef at the Wajak Timbers. Chef, how long have you been with the company? I know you've been here for a minute here. Right at 11 years. Ooh, see, we've been the pleasure of having you here with 11 years, man. It's been fun. Worked your way through the ranks. Yes, man. sir. Yeah, nice. Rain, I know you started. New Buffalo? New Buffalo, I did uh, a little, about nine and a half years in New Buffalo. Started as a seasonal cook one. I was here for the summer. 11 years later, I'm running my own restaurant. Hey, that, that tells you a little something about four wins. You put you in the door, you got a career ahead of you. So, yeah, we'll go on. We'll start on a whole other page. Let's, yeah, let's start here. <laughs> so, tell us what you're going to prepare for us here. Uh, today, we're going to do some Parmesan mushroom risotto, and we're going to top it off with some nice seared shrimp. Nice. What made you pick this dish? Uh, just something my son loves to eat. I like to cook it. A lot of people are, I, I, I feel like they're intimidated by risotto. And it, they really shouldn't be. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not a lot to it. It's too hard. Yeah, I like that. Okay. All right, well, we're going to jump into it. Let's talk about these ingredients. All right, we got a tablespoon of butter. We got one uh, white onion diced. About a cup of uh, sliced mushrooms. A tablespoon of fresh thyme. If you don't have fresh thyme, cut it by about a third and you can use dry. We got a cup of abora rice. We got a half a cup of white wine, half a cup of grated Parmesan. We got a couple of shrimps here, some salt and pepper, and then some green onion on the side. All right, Chef, what's the first step? All right, first thing we got is, we got our broth back here coming up to a boil. And we're gonna take about half of our butter and go ahead and throw it in the pan right here. Go ahead and melt it down. And we're gonna add our onion and our mushrooms. And then all we're looking to do with this is just sweat out the onions, reduce the mushrooms just a little bit. You're looking for a nice translucency on the onion. I go ahead and about a quarter of the way, I'll go ahead and throw the thyme in there, let them flavors start marinating. Oh yeah, get the essence get it Yes sir. Go ahead and go another little piece of that butter. This is the kind of dish you're paying attention to the whole time you're cooking, right? Chef? That's why most people get intimidated by it because if you leave it, you ruin it. You gotta keep going until it's ready to roll. But it's well worth the time. It is definitely well worth it. Like I say, I got a six-year-old who will tell me when I do it wrong. <laughs> they are our best critics, aren't they? Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, once you get the onions and the mushrooms sweated out real nice, we're going to go ahead and add the rest of our butter. And go ahead and throw in our rice for the risotto. Now all you're looking for this is the same thing. You're looking to, to get it a little translucent. Me personally, what I look for is like a pine smell. You gotta get that pine nut yeah, no. smell when you know it's ready. No, no, no. Yes, sir. At this point, you can start turning up your heat just a little bit. Get all that butter nice and melted. You will see a little bit of browning on your risotto rice, but you don't want it brown. Got everything infused real nice, starting to get a, starting to smell a little bit of that nutty aroma. That's great. All right, now we're gonna deglaze, cut the flame up just a shot more, and we're gonna deglaze this with some white wine, and you're just gonna cook all the alcohol out of it. Yes, yeah, sir. And now you're going to want to cook this until it's basically only the rice and onion and stuff left. You don't want a lot of liquid left over from this. Otherwise, it's going to change the flavor completely on your risotto. <laughs> That's about what you're looking for as far as the amount of liquid you want gone. It's okay to have a little something, but all the help, alcohol is burned off. Now you want to start ladling in your broth. Now you can use chicken broth, beef broth, whatever your choice. I like the beef broth with this one. You want to do a ladle, two, two ladles at a time. 
You don't want to do too much because then you're going to be boiling your rice and that's not what you're looking to do. Slowly add it. Slowly add it. I like to do about four ounces, five ounces at a time. Cooks it off twice as fast. It absorbs that flavor, but it doesn't make it soupy. Control the dish too. Yes, sir. Because you may do you may do four to five cups of broth. It cooks a little faster. You may only need three of the cups. So this gives you an opportunity to just add what's needed. All right, now we're going to saute some of our shrimp. Top off our risotto with throw a couple pieces of shrimp in there. Chicken. chicken, beef, your choice, lamb. There, there is no wrong choice. If you're uh, watching your meat and baker, you know, you for a big dish, you can do the same risotto with like a vegetable stock. Or a, to a vegetable stock, you can do it with a tofu. Just looking at the shrimp, all you're doing is look at, get a little color on it. Curl up a little bit. A little curl, yeah. I like to get a little bit of browning to it, but at the same time, I don't want my shrimp to be dried out. All right, now we're gonna add. Now that you get it down, you get most of your liquid cooked out of it. You want a little bit of juice, but you want most of the liquid gone. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna remove it from the heat. Drop in your Parmesan, fold that in real good. As you're folding it, the heat, the heat, the residual heat that's left over will melt your Parmesan, get that nice texture that you're looking for. So now you got it all infused together. You can see your rice. Parmesan's melted in there. Parmesan's melted, it's thickening it up. Uh, what you're looking for is you want to be able to see your grains of rice. You don't want a pile of mush, a pile of junk there. It's, you want to see each piece of rice. That's how you know you've done it the right way. They're all the stars of the show. Let's get the plate now. All right, so when you go on the plate this, you can do it home style and just pour it in your bowl and top it however you want. Or if you're trying to impress a couple guests, you could put your little ring mold in there so it'll hold its shape. Then you're going to want to try to make it to where it all falls right into your mold. You want a little rustic look. You don't want it to be perfectly symmetrical, but at the same time, then you're gonna slide your mold out. Should hold shape pretty well, and so. Now you're gonna take your two shrimp, make it look nice and pretty right there on top, and then take you a little bit of green onion at the end, Give it a little color. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mushroom Parmesan risotto topped with a little bit of shrimp. Nice job, Chef. Wow, Chef, you did it, man. This thing looks beautiful. I don't know what you're gonna have for dinner, but I see what my dinner is, man. <laughs> oh, thanks a lot, though. I do appreciate this, Chef. You killed it. Just, you did it, man. Enjoy you having part. What's Enjoy that? you having me here. Hey. Uh, look forward to doing it again. We'd love to have you back on, man. All right. Walk from our kitchen to yours. This is Chef Brandon, Chef Thomas signing off. Another cooking creation.